is Cystic Fibrosis Awareness Month. More than 30,000 people in our country live with the genetic disease. Life expectancy is in the late 40s. But new research out of Children's Hospital Colorado gives patients and families hope for longer lives. Our Colette Bornelon is live for us tonight at Children's Hospital in Colorado Springs. And Colette, for so long, treatment for cystic fibrosis has mainly been reactive. That's right, but that new study you just mentioned, Elizabeth, it shows that kids between the ages of two and five can safely start proactive treatment for cystic fibrosis. Now, that means if they started earlier in life, they could prevent things like lung damage or frequent hospitalizations down the road. But for one local family, this could change their children's future. They're just so rambunctious, just full of energy. The Pendergrafts, a family of five. Oh, they just woke up from their nap, so they're not oh. too awake yet. Didn't really have any experience with cystic fibrosis until about four years ago. And whenever she was born, it was kind of a shock. Riley, their second child, and Porter, their youngest, both have the genetic disease, which affects the lungs, digestive system, and other organs in the body. These kids have never known not to take medicines, so it's just part of their life. But all of the treatments take time. I get home from work, uh, we cook, and then you know, we're eating supper, then we're cleaning the kitchen, then we're doing treatments, and it's immediately bath time or bedtime or both. And it's just, uh, there's really no downtime. Add on to that, a deployment during the pandemic. It was exhausting to um, be alone, you know, be a single parent and have to do all that. Both Riley and Porter are on a proactive form of treatment, a new way for very young children to try and slow or prevent some of the devastating consequences of cystic fibrosis. We had this idea of what it was whenever they were born, to be frank, that they wouldn't live to see a certain age, uh, most likely, mm -hmm. and to realize that that might not even be the case anymore. Uh, that's pretty awesome. And a message for all the other families fighting cystic fibrosis. There's so much hope now with, you know, all the medications and everything, you know, don't don't get too discouraged. Keeping their heads up for the kids who taught them how. The Pendergrafts say since both Riley and Porter have started that proactive treatment, they've seen improvements in their digestive health. They seem to be recovering from sicknesses quicker, and it's helped out with weight gain. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Colette Bordelon, News 5. Such cute kids. Colette, thanks for that story.